I've tried 17 times to tell this story, but uh, it looks like the emotion keeps coming out in my voice. So I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, please forgive me for that. Well, all of us rock hounds, I think all of us probably unanimously think that the young generation is the future of rock hounding. And so it really broke my heart when, uh, when I had to deal with this. So what happened is a young rock hound asked me to identify some of her collection, a uh, young lady about 21 years old. And so she brought me a box. I looked at what she had. She had some pretty decent stuff. She had some uh, malachite in there, celestite. So she knew what she was doing generally, but I found this thing in there and uh, I asked her about it. And she told me it was a massive sapphire that she had gotten from an international market and it was sold as a genuine sapphire. The minute she handed the thing to me and it touched my hand, I asked her, I said, how much did you pay for this thing? She said she had paid $324. Um, so what I did was I gave her 350 just for the right to smash it into pieces and get it off of this earth. Uh, now, so I went into the market, I started looking for things like this, large sapphire, and it led me to large ruby, large emerald, and I'm talking like 600 carats and above listed as natural sapphire, graded triple A. I also noticed the listing for the description was using a very light yellow. So it was really impossible to read any kind of small print on there. The, the thing that has upset me tremendously is that these days scams are absolutely everywhere. I mean, they're to the left, they're to the right, they're above us and below. You just can't do business on a handshake that much unless you know who you're dealing with. But what really killed me about this is that a lot of the new generation of kids hang out in their room 25-8 and don't see the light of day very much. A lot of them are just wrapped up in their cell phone at all times. So when you see a young rock hound, one of the new generation, we need them. We want to welcome them into the world of rock collecting and rock hounding with open arms and we want there to be a certain amount of safety in it and that is what has upset me so much so i do have to say that when i show the part of this video that involves uh testing the supposed gemstone i am embarrassed about the emotions kind of but this has really been uh, a little bit distressful for me i also noticed on the market there are feedback scores i think from people who are justifying their being scammed. So sometimes they will leave a positive and say, it's real, it's real. A lot of them are having these things tested and they're coming back as glass. So I was very shocked to see one of these things and hold it in my own hand. Now we're gonna go to the gem testing part and uh, we can actually take a real good look at what I'm talking about. Hello and welcome to the, an emergency meeting of the modern rock scene. A young lady came to me and she wanted to verify she had received an authentic gemstone because when she received it in the mail from a certain country, she had a bad feeling about it. So she came by and she showed me this thing. I grabbed a hammer and pulverized most of it. But then I thought, this is something I can share with you guys too. This is supposed to be a very large sapphire. My hand is shaking. <laughs> Guys, let me have a breath here. Okay, so, um, yeah, it was probably about two and a half inches long, something really ridiculous. And just by the look of it, I'm not sure what in heck it is. So, what we have here, what I'm showing you, this is an actual sapphire corundum. This is a natural rough, which is one of the hardest rocks. So I think I'm gonna take this thing outside, tap it with a hammer, because I don't want to kill it. But this thing has got to be so much harder than this silly thing, this piece of glass. Okay, and now my suspicions are this. It has been vacuum sealed with glass. It has probably been heat treated. 
the glass had color or it has been dyed. In fact, I'm gonna drop it in this alcohol right now and I'm gonna test this thing for dye. Let's see, and can you believe it? I'm disgusted. I am disgusted. How long did I soak that thing for? Nothing. And it's bleeding, it's sapphire dye. So take one last look because the hammer awaits and I will do this with such pleasure. Let me tell you something. Why am I upset? Because our new rock hound, she should not have experiences like this. So uh, next time you see me, it's gonna be the last time the world ever sees this thing. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay guys, well, we're out here and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to find any of my S wings, but I think this old uh, rusty sledgehammer should do the job. Ill-advised, but I think I'm gonna tap on this corundum with it a little bit. Okay, that does not easily break and this should be a really beautiful sight. Thank you everybody for joining me today. To me, this is very symbolic. I do not like dishonesty. I wish less of it in the world. So thanks for joining me. And next time I'm sure we'll have a little bit of a <coughs> more lighthearted time. Thanks for joining me.